Hi. Remember the video that I made showing what the EWE link cast is? If you don't, I'll leave the link here. But a lot has changed since then and many improvements have been made. That's what I'll be showing you in this video. I will be showing the user experience enhancements and the new app available for Android for now, but that will be available for iOS really soon. I will show the app at the end of the video. So, let's dive in into these new features. The first thing that you can see is that the cast is no longer a beta version, now it is an official version. One of the things that has been much improved is the user experience and one of the things that we can do is resize the tiles and arrange them as you wish. To do that you just have to click on the little square at the bottom right of the tile you want to resize. This is especially useful for the multi-channel switches it allows you to access directly to each channel instead of having to enter the switch tile pop-up and then choose the channel. I'll just resize this one, the console one, and move it up here. You can see that now you have both channels available. I'll just move these tiles around. You can arrange the dashboard as it better suits you. You can also resize the calendar and the weather tile. You also have a clock tile now, with two sizes too. Let me resize another multi-channel switch. We have these two switches that we'll see later on the cast app on the tablet. I think this is okay for now. I'll hit the save button. Another new feature is the custom text. As the name indicates, you can add text to your dashboards, and you can use it for several purposes. In the settings tab you have here the custom text box where you enter the desired text. In this case, I'll just create tags for several rooms and then I'll group the switches under those tags. I'll create this one bedroom, then I'll just move around the switches that are in the bedroom. Then I hit the plus button and create another tag. The living room. And then I'll move the switches from the living room under this tag. I'll just move some just to show you how it works. I'll create another one. I'll call it entrance, and I'll move the switches from the entrance under this tag. So these tags will work as groups. I can group several switches under the text that I create. Okay, I'll click on the save button. Another way you can use custom text is to create alerts on a certain dashboard. For instance, I'll create a new custom text on the bedroom's dashboard. And they'll just write Mary. Don't forget to walk the dog. Don't forget to increase the size of the tile. I'll click Save. Another way that we can use the custom text is to create to-do lists. So I click on the entrance dashboard to customize it. So I write a custom text here with to-do and with several tasks. I'll add by bread. Water the plants. Call the water company.
I'll hit the save button. What also is being updated is the number of devices that are compatible with the cast. You now have almost every Wi-Fi switch compatible with cast and more Zigbee switches. Now, for what I think is the biggest improvement, you have the Cast app for Android. This is a recent development and it's only available for Android right now, but I emailed them, and they told me that in mid-September they will be releasing the iOS version. So you just have to go to the Google Play Store and install the Cast app one have already installed mine. I'll just click on the app and access it. As you can see, I have all my dashboards here. I'll just enter the living room dashboard to show you the changes that I made. The dashboard is exactly as I configured it. As you can see, the temperature is set to centigrades as I configured it. You can see the two switches here, the two multi-channel switches, and I can access directly to each channel without having to open the pop-up. But if I want, I can still open the pop-up to turn on and off each channel. The other change that I made was to all the devices dashboard. You can see that I have the tags for each room with the switches grouped under them as I arranged them on the eWeLink web. If I enter the bedroom dashboard, you can see that I have the alert that I created with the custom text. Now, if I enter the entrance dashboard, you can see that I have the to-do list with the tasks that I created. In the top left you have a menu where you have the about option where you can see the current app version. In the settings option, you can change the language and you can also enable and disable the screensaver. In the voice call option, you can make calls between cast app devices. In this case, I just have this device with the app installed. If you have NS Panel Pro, it appears here and you can make a call. But if I get my phone and open the eWeLink app, you can see that I have a new device that is a cast tablet. and if I click on this device, I can make a call to the Cast app. Is calling the Cast app on the tablet. This is a great feature. I'll stop the call. Another thing that we can see is the call history. If I press this icon on the top, I'll see the calls that I've made and received. And that's it, there are some great improvements to the cast dashboard. I hope this video helped you. If you liked the video, please consider subscribing. It's free! And if it helped you, press the like button. This way, you will be helping the channel to create more content like this. Thank you for watching.